We want to talk to you about natural infrastructure. It might sound like a technical or complicated concept, but it's actually pretty simple. It involves humans managing and taking care of nature so that in return, nature can take care of humans now and in the future. And with a rapidly changing climate, it looks like we need the benefits of nature-based solutions more than ever. Take the Canadian prairies, for example, home to 80% of the country's farmland. Managing water here is a constant challenge. Spring melt often leads to flooding, followed by drought conditions later in the summer. And of course, climate change is making these conditions worse. Farmers across the prairies have no choice but to adapt to the impacts of climate change. Welcome to Perkis Farms. Over the last quite a few years, we're not getting the, the, the snow melt runoff in the spring that we normally would count on to fill the lakes and dugouts and, and whatever, and that causes problems. What they need is to limit flood damage and guard against drought. Welcome to Pelly's Lake. Pelly's Lake in southern Manitoba is surrounded by prime agricultural land used to grow canola, wheat, alfalfa, and barley. For decades, farmers would try to drain the land to increase farm production, but this led to challenges. There's culverts downstream between there and the Boyne River uh, that aren't as large, so we would overwhelm those. However, in 2015, the International Institute for Sustainable Development teamed up with the Red Boyne Watershed District on a different kind of infrastructure project, a managed wetland designed with these local water challenges in mind. This is a classic nature-based solution. The way Pelly's Lake works is it's a natural low-lying area. So the water all comes in from the far end. It collects into Pelly's Lake, and then all that water passes out on the far end. So what's been done is there's a water control structure that was built and that allows us to control the water flow. We can stop it in the springtime, hold on to that water, keep that water in the reservoir. We can slowly release that water when it's needed, and that helps recharge the water downstream as well during dry periods. Cattails grow abundantly in the low-lying area. They are harvested and burned as biofuel, preventing excess phosphorus from washing downstream into Lake Winnipeg. So when you have too much phosphorus coming off the landscape, you get a lot more algae growing in our lakes and our streams, and that's what's causing the issues in Lake Winnipeg. And what happens is, you see behind me all these, the lush green plants that are growing. So all that phosphorus, all that, that nitrogen, all the other stuff that's in there, that's food for the plants. And then the plants grow, and then later on when we can drain the site, we can actually then harvest the site to remove that material, and then use that material for things like sustainable energy, We've used it for livestock bedding, compost, uh, soil applications. Farmers in the area around Pelly's Lake have called it a win-win scenario. Pelly's Lake Reservoir here has, has done wonders for us in this part of the country. If we could irrigate uh, like out of Pelly's Lake, uh, you know, it, it could boost the, uh, the yield in, in 500 acres of crop to maybe a difference between break-even and a profitable situation. This kind of natural infrastructure is also proven to be more cost effective than common built flood protection systems like dams. When you see projects like Pelly's Lake, you, you can really notice a difference in how water moves on the landscape and, and, and a difference in crop yields, a difference in uh, you know, economic benefits and, and a difference in community pride. As you can see, nature-based solutions have many benefits. They help protect us from the impacts of climate change and they provide a higher return on investment than traditional built infrastructure. What's clear from examples like Pelly's Lake is that we can't build resilient communities without harnessing the power of nature. The time is now to invest in nature-based solutions for people and the planet.